Hello, what I'm going to show you today is the, the two ways now you can use the Easy Taps Butter Kit to change your um, washer should you have a, a dripping tap. Now, I'll show you the kit. That's the kit which comes in a, um, a full plastic um, carry case. There's the components inside. You've got um, pull spanner in there, um, spout sleeve, adjusting spanner, pull bar, four different size inserts. This is the posi bike bit for um, if you get into difficulties and you've actually rounded the head nut off and these are the inserts which go in it. Um, you get a full set of floating instructions, very detailed instructions there which tell you exactly how to do it and there's a, there's a kind of a quick set of instructions in the back of the in the back of the lid there so everything's in there, you even get some spare washers um, in this kit which is which will do your um, most of your bath taps and uh, your sink tap uh, washer renewals. So there's the kit there, that's the easy tap cutter. I'm going to show you now the two ways in which we're going to use this today. Now firstly, um, to to repair your, 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 your dripping tap, first thing you turn the water off at the mains. Um, next stage is to put the, very important, put the plug in so the little bits fall out, they don't fall inside the sink, and then turn the tap on. This has been, this is actually drain so there's, there's no water in it. Um, next thing to do is remove the tap handle. Usually there's a screw or in this case there's a screw cap on the top. Screw that off. Take off the take off the handle, place that in there. Now this is the head nut part. You have to get you have to unscrew this part here to get out the washer inside. This is where the problems can start. Now most of you guys out there will probably use something like this, a spanner. You put it onto the nut and then give it an almighty pull that way to try and unscrew it but you have, it's essential that you hold the tap steady now as you can see with this one it's a very small spout and it's very difficult to get hold of some people out there suggest putting metal pipes and things over here but if you can see that's nice clean brass so it's got to be strong if you're going to do it it's going to be metal but it's going to damage your brass so you don't want to be doing that and, and, and either way you're going to end up spinning your tap now if you spin your tap in the hole two things can happen. Firstly you can disturb the connection underneath here and then you end up with a leak which you don't want to do any, under any circumstances. Uh, secondly, on older type Victorian sinks these taps are actually set inside putty and the hole in, in this type of sink is round but on the old type sinks it's square square shaped and it's set in putty very very solid so any turning of that tap left to right will split the sink right the way across on these old type Victorian sinks they're very hard to um, to replace and that's the end of the sink it's an absolute nightmare so I'm going to show you now how to use the easy tap splitter manually how to undo that tap with total safety first of all what we need is um, is the correct size insert you get four inserts so it's, I think that one's going to be the biggest one okay yeah that fits on there okay next thing you get um, spout sleeve this is the sleeve here which is made out of really tough and nylon 66 plastic um, and like you see on there it's quite sloppy so we give you these nice rubber liners insert lines which go inside there and that fits very comfortably on there so you can see it's absolutely uh, risk free next thing you do is fit the pull spanner like that over the now that is actually fitted over the over the insert, can you see there? That's that's that part. The next thing to fit is the the pull rod, which is this here that connects between the end of the spanner and slips into the slot on the spout sleeve, like second, like like that. So what we've got here now is a situation where we're connecting to the the spout of the tap. At a right angle, about 45 degrees right angle to the tap nut itself. Now all it's going to do is wind the nut here, which will call full, which will give effect fully controlled pressure, pulling the spanner this way. It's on quite tight. This I've tightened it up before quite tightly. Getting to the point where I can't turn that now. My fing fingers it's getting tight. So what you get in the kit is the adjusting spanner, which is this. So all you do. Just gently support the sleeve like that and then just wind it. Now it's reasonably tight. Now if you keep your eye on the spanner there you'll see it's starting to pull. 
works reasonably tight, but it's still, still virtually a one fingered operation. You can see it pulling, yeah, it's getting easier and easier. And notice there's no torque or rotational force on the tap itself. This is how easy it is. Yeah, it's going easier and easier and easier until I know I've cracked it. And believe you me, I've tried this on some really difficult taps and it's, it works every single time. So, just take all the components off, put them to one side. You can see now, look at that. Lovely. That tap hasn't moved one millimetre left or right. Take that out. Oh look, the washer's in half. Really bad drip on this tap. Okay, that's showing you it manually. The next thing I'm going to show you is the new fast off tool for the Easy Tap Splitter on this side. And you won't believe how quick that comes off. Okay, what I'm going to show you now is the um, the new addition to the kit, which is the fast off uh, tool for the Easy Tap Splitter. Now this is specially designed for for using with this kit. Got an 8mm socket on the end there and a very deep space inside to accept the thread. Now, this is designed to go inside your, um, your cordless drill. Simple as that. Now, I'm going to show you now how fast it will actually work on, on this. You simply slip it over the end, over the end of the nut, like so. And watch how quickly this actually undoes it. Pulls it, pulls it, pulls it. There you go. That's how quick it is using the, uh, the fast stuff tool. Take all the components off. And you'll see. Again, it has completely loosened that off. There you go. Out ready for repair. So there you go. Doing it manually, doing it with the fast off tool. The easy tap split system, system, the safest, most reliable, easiest way of getting at your tap bushes guaranteed on the market. Thanks very much for watching.